It's Claudia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be showing you my daily journaling routine, which encompasses everything that I do morning and night. So my current journaling routine is a hybrid system between analog and digital journaling. But I do want to stress that you can do my whole routine in any format. So you can do this all in one notebook or you can do this all on an electronic device. It's totally up to you. I'm just providing a foundation for you to build your system. And without further ado, let's begin. First thing I do every morning is I take out my Loistrom 1917 notebook as well as my Muji pens and I answer six questions or prompts. I can go into as much detail as I like on some days and on other days I just do the bare minimum. And here I am on a new page and for the header I put the date, the day of the week, and the time. Now here are the prompts. Number one my daily affirmation. I write in present tense who I'd like to be today and how I'd like to carry myself as I go about my day. An example would be, um, I do my best by being present in the current moment. Another one could be, I am open to the endless possibilities today has to offer. Number two, today I will focus on shifting my pattern of. Here is where I will point out a habit or mindset that I'd like to work on that day. It could be about shifting your pattern of self-doubt, apathy, heaviness, lack of confidence, to being more sure about yourself and who you are and what you do. Number three, three things or traits my future self will have. This is pretty self-explanatory. I just basically list three traits I'd like to have. So that could be expansive creativity, better concentration, more self-confidence, patience for myself, etc, etc. Number four, the person I'm becoming will experience. And here I can write more healing time for myself, opportunities for growth and expansion, abundance in my career. What I really like about prompts three and four is that it welcomes you the opportunity to dream, to imagine, to really ponder about what it takes to be your future self. It's not just about wishing and wanting all these things to come into fruition because like they say, old ways won't open new doors. So you gotta think what traits, what habits, what systems do I need to implement in my daily life that will allow me the opportunity to become that future self? Number five, I have the opportunity to be my future self today when I, and here you can list out a few habits or things you'd like to know that would help further your progression to becoming who you want to be. So you could say, when I don't eat sugar, when I make sure I get a full eight hours sleep, when I don't check social media, I hope you get the gist of it. Number six, when I think about the person I'm becoming, I feel. Now this prompt has really changed my mindset in how I want to approach the things I want to do in my life so I can be who I want to be and I can manifest the things I want to have because for some reason, answering this prompt makes me reassured, confident, excited, and hopeful for the future because who I want to be, even though it might be miles away, it's not some abstract concept anymore. I know what it takes to get there. All I have to do is do the work. And every day when I answer this, I'm invigorated, I'm inspired, I'm motivated, I'm charged with optimism and energy to make sure that I get my work done so I can be there someday. I really like this method of journaling because it forces me to sit down and think, how I'm currently feeling, how I want to feel, and how I want to go about my day, as well as how I want to make that happen. I've been doing this for quite some time and I'm really enjoying it. I was doing morning pages and I had been doing it for years, but as of now, for me, this exercise is more effective. Like I said before, you can do this all in your notebook. I'm just currently using the productivity app Notion as my bullet journal. So here's my homepage. If you haven't seen my Notion setup tour and you're curious about it, click the link here or here wherever it is, I'm not really sure. So the first thing I do on my homepage is check this section called a heads up. Usually the night before I will write out two things that I need to get done or I need to be reminded of for the next day so I don't miss it. 
And here I have film a YouTube video, which I'm currently doing right now, and print out acting class handouts, which I will do later. Next, I go to my monthly log. This is where I can check if I've put in any important events or things to do that I should not forget. And then I go to my daily log. Ta-da, this is my daily log. And then I click new. Today is Friday, January 8th. And I have it set as daily entries and then I, I can categorize it into the months. So I have January, 2021. And then here's my habit tracker. I'm currently intermittent fasting and let's hope I can do something else later today. And this is my daily log. So the first part that I fill out in the morning is my gratitude and my to-do list. For the gratitude section, I will write out in full sentence three things I'm grateful for within the past 24 hours just to keep things fresh. And that's because if I don't write something that's happened within the past 24 hours, I will repeatedly write the same things like, I'm grateful to be alive, I'm grateful to have clothes or something like that, which I'm definitely grateful for, but I wanna be more specific. Today, I am grateful for some sunshine because it's been raining for weeks here in Vancouver for my YouTube and acting growth and to be able to spend today today filming a video. All right, there we go. Next is the to-do list. So what's on my to-do list today? Definitely film a YouTube video, which I'm currently doing right now. Print out acting handouts. Start editing video. Read acting handouts. Let's move this one up here so it makes more sense. And there we go. This is the end of the morning portion of my journaling routine. Good evening, it's the end of the day and now I will be filling out the rest of my daily log. So here is my daily log. I'm just gonna check off everything I've done today. So film a YouTube video, print out acting handouts, read them, start editing, haven't started. Go to Muji, go to Zara, read Murakami, read The Rape of Night King, I haven't. I'll read that tomorrow. This is the major segment that I fill out at the end of the day. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six things I answer. Number one is a challenge. So here you can fill out something that's been challenging for you or something that you've had to really work on. Trying to stay creative in all mediums. I learned that I can't force creativity. So work in progress and my acting class work. I took care of myself today by watching a good movie and buying myself really pretty clothes. I'm proud of myself for treating myself to clothes that I've wanted to get for a while. Wins of the day, watching an Aaron Sorkin movie. So yeah, those are all the questions I answer. I have a challenge, what I learned, a work in progress, I took care of myself today by, I'm proud of myself for, and wins of the day. I'm sorry if that wasn't very thorough. Um, I guess I'm really, really tired right now. I'm ready to head to bed. I might just read a bit of Murakami and then go to sleep. I hope this has been helpful. Um, I just wanted to share my daily journaling routine. It's what I do every day. It might be really detailed and tedious and too much for some people, or it might be exactly what you need. Uh, that's the beauty of journaling, right? You get to do as much or as little as you like. Uh, there are no rules you, and there's no right or wrong. You just gotta do what feels right. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye, good night. <laughs>